Okay, so um, let's try to continue where we left off last time. And of course, I didn't select the correct um, object. So let's again, yeah, let's go to the edit mode. And here we can see our model. So what we need to do we need to keep on doing actually is refining this model so the first things we can see immediately are quite obvious to change let's do them actually yeah mm, okay so now we also need the mustache because if you want the model to have a different um a different color like parts of the model to have, to have different color then we'll need polygons that define those extruded uh, areas so as you can see now i'm trying to make them as close as possible to the mustache that we have here and of course in places where i'm missing some polygons i'm going to just insert our edge loops I think here it would be also useful and that's because these parts can become more refined if we kind of curvature them slightly so um, as you can see the moustache um, would go here but we have some problem here think we can use this one as a turning point for the moustache yeah and it's important to always remember not to go too fast into adding more um, into adding more um, details to our model if that's not important we should try to keep them as low as possible so what i can see now well let me actually cut here okay so what i can see now is that we have problem with this part and it would be best if this vertex over here could join with the edge over there so can try to do that but we also have a problem that our nose is very low quality so we need to add more edge loops to the nose so let's insert an edge loop where possible of course so we can continue on refining how our nose will look like you know we have some ugly um, mesh here so the nose in general as far as i can see it should be more three-dimensional so i think uh, we could try and extrude this polygon over there and just play with the geometry of this mesh so that's what i'm doing here I'm trying to form a, a nose from those vertices that we have. Yeah, it needs to be three, three, three dimensional as, as, pos, as much as possible. We have a, again like a polygon that is not important, so I'm removing it. And of course, let's fill our hole that we created. So this is now looking better, but we still can refine this, this shape. So let me add an edge loop over there. Yeah. And when we added this edge loop, just keep on um, defining this nose. So the more polygons will have the more detailed the final effect will be 
So as you can see, we are forming a three-dimensional mesh for for our um, nose. This is a bit too too much there. So what I can do is I can move parts of those vertices to follow the um, the reference that we have below. So yeah, that is already starting to form something that's looking better than before for sure. And let's just look at it here. It's still not there. We can see it's still not there. And let's see it with the ambient occlusion. Yeah, we can see that it's going somewhere, but definitely it's not there yet. So, yeah, that's it for, for today.